Scratching you? Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, witch. Come. the arrival of its DC-9 Super Lovebird service from New York. Passengers for the Muckle Beach Hotel, your bus is waiting outside the Air Jamaica Terminal. Muckle Beach Hotel, can I help you? Hi, sexy, this is Ringo. Wrong number. Hold on, little, what happened to Miss B? There isn't a Miss B working here. Is that the Muckle Beach? Who do you wish to speak to? Who is that? This is Miss Brandon, front desk. Oh, Brandon, so you're a Miss B too. Cool. Listen up. Mm -hmm. I'm a waiter at the hotel, you see? Mm -hmm. And my wife, my missus, is going to come looking for me. When she comes, tell her that I've left the job and I'm not working in Port Antonio. Mm -hmm. Would you like to speak to someone in the kitchen? Uh-huh. Put me on the door, please. The line to the kitchen is busy. Listen up, you have to cover for me. And tell Joe that I got held up, but I'm on my way. Tell him Ringo. And look, no? if my missus come, tell her that I left the job and I'm now working in Port Antonio. So what I'm today, I must be. 
There's a call on the other line. I'll deliver your message. All right. Just tell him Ringo. And I'm not saying. Hello? Hello? What the... 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 Sorry to keep you holding. Can I help you? Hi. Why is no one answering the telephone, Miss Brandon? They simply will not do. No one in the kitchen? Everyone asleep? I have to wake up the taxi drivers myself and tell them to go and pick up the guests. Miss Brandon, you... Is this the first time you've ever operated a switchboard, Miss Brandon? There's no reason to look at me like that, Miss Brandon. You see, in business... Mocha Beach Hotel, can I help you? It's for you. Miss Brandon, how many times do I have to tell you? No calls through to me until you find out who it is on the other end of the phone. And right now, if God wants me, he can't have me. I'm out of town. It's your wife. Miss Brandon! I see. I'll take it over there, Miss Brandon. Darling? Coming home soon, darling? Busy. Tell me, darling, is the gardener through yet? No. Not yet. For God's sake, darling, make him get on with it. He knows exactly what to do. Just get him started. Will you, darling? Okay, I'll try, darling. And listen, I won't be home until late tonight. Would you like to come to the hotel for a meal? Love to. Are you sure you won't mind eating alone? No, of course not, darling. All right, I'll send a cab for you later. You have to shave it off. Who says so? The new assistant manager. I call that guy. I'm up a white wife. Straight up bitch, but him nervous. So long you don't miss in my scene? Cool. Joe, <laughs> it's nice to see you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me something. Why are you scratching so much? Boy, master, is a long story, you know. I thought I had it bad. You should have seen the chick. <laughs> <laughs> and master, if anybody asks why I'm just coming back, I want to back me up. Food poisoning. Food poisoning? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and look, if my missus come looking for me, you haven't seen me, I've gone to work in Port Antonio. Why, I want to open the new telephone operator, remember, to cover for me. One big fight me and the wife had last week. No man is too jealous and love money, man. Master, I have, I have to go check my cutlery. See ya. Cool boy, cool. <laughs> I am just going to put my bus boy in charge. I wonder where he is. Bus boy! The one you didn't have last year don't come back here. That is good. What a boy, that fool, man. The one I'm assigned to you this year is not much better. Okay, let's go, okay. What is that? Run! The ship and the warp are not ready. Who is that? Your boss boy. Is he black? Don't boy. What a boy, is he black? Coke dancer. <laughs> Hey, that hit is going to be a real tourist attraction this season. Oh, the season going so far? A group coming in today from the States. Hey, remember that little blonde chick from Chicago? Yeah. I'm going to get a letter from her. She lied. I'm not lying, she's coming back. When? She's not so but she's coming back. Back to the sun and the thing. <laughs> <laughs>
How you doing, man? Oh, God. You're looking pretty good. Would you register over there and then perhaps a little drink? Hell, I'd like to register with you any time. <laughs> so, welcome to the Muppet Beach Hotel. That's in your assistant manager. Perhaps you'd like to register over there and then a little drink? You know what them look like to me? No, Captain! No, what? Like a black jackass looking over a whitewash bed. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed your trip. Oh, yes, thank you, sir. Welcome to Muckabee. Oh, it's so beautiful. It is. Would you register over there and then perhaps a little drink? Oh, thank you. How do you do, madam? Welcome. Hope you enjoyed your flight. Uh, would you like to register over there and then perhaps a little drink? <laughs> Are you the manager of this hotel? Yes, ma'am. Well, come, let me come, just tell you, I don't think on. much of your transport. But, Ringo, look like the same man to me. Which man, that? The man that had the heart attack around the dining table last year. Did you never hear about that? Yes, man. I was serving the table when all of a sudden he crashed down. And he tried to get up. He crashed down again, man. Head hit the soup bowl. Brother? Wants the gungo peas fly. Him the dead? No, man. Oh. Him never dead. Look, look, look at that. She just pushed right that one. She just pushed right in front of me. Right in front of me. And you're sitting here doing nothing about it. Not even one reasonable looking chick. True. Body picking slim. Slim, bud. Hey, look at all the fat man there. Your type. <laughs> Shabazz. <laughs> if one of them turkey looking chick ever hung on to you, never let you go in. I know from experience. Hey, one of them not did hang on for you last year? Gloria, the chick from Georgia. This money I was looking. I heard it was long. You must be mad. Then walk to the time when you grab her up for the goodbye kiss. It was she who grabbed me up, grab her on my neck. Ring a baby, ring a doll, come for sights of me. Take it easy. Jesus Christ, brother, about how she's lonely. Just she and her dog won't live up now. <laughs> the more we pull from the woman, the more she hang to me, you know. I embarrass this man. <laughs> Boy, sometimes some things a man have to go through to raise a few dollars. Sometimes just shame of yourself. Can I give you a call when I get to my room? We were all at one foot man going. I'm going to the other foot over Dunsborough Falls. <laughs> it's a white soul, brother. Bad boy! Stop roughing up the boy. Leave them alone, man. He told them his friend. It's just a part of my play, now. White people love some black people bow down, you see, man. Me touch ground. As long as I can find a dollar bill down there. White people must pay, man. Look how long they've been carrying us down. Exploit, they exploit a god love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait. I wonder who that black lady talking with the assistant manager. <laughs> she look like your missus. <laughs> My missus, we are. <laughs> Is your missus, yes? Yeah, I'll just make them jokes. We know where you come from, you know, sir. I'm Mr. Ringo, so I need to come here from my husband. You know where, yes, sir, you know where I walk from. Listen to me, just run in this party out Master, you don't see me. I don't come to work. Tell, tell her Kara lick me down, right? Tell her anything. Tell her, yeah, tell her I'm dead. I'm gone. We gone. Master, I have to leave town. No, sir, I'm going around there already. And I'm... No, sir. What's up with it? Wait, wait, wait. What's around with it? Not for the fuck. Hey, Ringo, come here. No, sir, but you listen to me, sir. Backside. She will cuss him. Mr. No, sir. I not left there. No, sir. No, man, Mr. Me can't go. Where you take this thing for? Eh? You could have taken more tablets, Mr. Wait, what happened? No, sir. Assistant manager coming this way. I have to hide. 
The brothers come in this side. Hide in the pastry shop. And the chef is about. Come on the back. I can't run in front. The man coming. You don't have a chance I have no one Yes, I did it. I knew it. Compliments of the season. Get in here. Remember what I tell you. It's put Antonio and gone. Sir. Ringo Smith, who is he? One of the waiters, sir. Where is he? He's changing his clothes, sir. Find him. Yes, sir. Oh. I just remember, sir. He's in the dining room. Blast! Damn! Blast! Damn! I just bring it, sir. Oh. Who threw it there? I do know, sir. Do it banana, sir. Throwing? Banana peel on the floor when there's a perfectly good bin is damn rubbish. Yes, sir. I want to see the entire kitchen start first thing in the morning. Yes, sir. I could have broken my foot. You sprain it, sir. This sort of thing can't go on. We can't run a hotel like this. Every blasted thing out of place. And some strange woman up the front embarrassing the guests. Find Smith. A woman up the front asking for Ringana, sir. We've got to get them out of the lobby somehow. Nobody never tell you, sir. Tell me what? About the woman. What about her? She tell you, says she's Ringo woman, sir. She says he's the baby's father. Is a mad woman, sir. Jesus Christ. Next week, she's going to come asking for you. Mm -hmm. Say you owe her money. Is a mad woman, sir. Jesus Christ. And two men never come with her? Two men? Yes. They're mad, too. I don't know why they won't keep those people locked up. Every time they let them out. Out from where? Bellevue, sir. Security guard. Get me security. No, sir. I wouldn't do that if I were like you, sir. You know what we used to do? And the assistant manager before you? We used to give her two dollars and tell her that Ringo has gone to work in Port Antonio. Now she's a lady who walks everywhere she's going. So by the time she gets to Port Antonio and come back, the season will finish. Uh. And remember, sir, treat her gently. Boss boy, you're a boss. <laughs> hey, I, I say you're lying a bitch, you know. <laughs> boy, it's a good thing you're my friends. If you were tell lie for me, I wouldn't stand a chance. What's your name? Joe, sir. Now look here, Joe. That story you told me about that man Ringo is a damned lie. I'm not an idiot, you know. The next time you try to cover up for anybody, you're both going to find yourself out of a job. Who threw that banana peel there again? I don't know, sir. Make a try it for you, sir. I can do it myself. There's a garbage bin over there, you know. Do you know what it's there for? Garbage. Have I got to show you how to use it? It's very simple, you know. First of all, you take the cover off. A fool you. Hey, you must do things in a man. It's a, it's a serious joke in a film, man. Come the man. Come on, man. <laughs> you know what that is? That's a cockroach. 
This place must be absolutely filthy. But don't just sit there, hit it, squash it, do something. Oh, Jesus, we're sitting here where the animals come leaping out of the ceilings. The walls are paper thin. Oh, you're a big, fat help, you are. Oh, shit, get the tourist office and get us in the first plane out of this crummy place. You mean to tell me, Mia, you really checking the one foot white man? Foot missing? What else missing? If you ever prefer to do without a man if I can't get one with everything intact. You are Carol. One foot man better than no man. You know can't find one with two foot? You know how long I've been trying to get to America permanently. <laughs> oh, yes. You can see yourself walking down Broadway with Long John Silver. <laughs> Once I get to America. Just drop him. Stop, stop. I'll call you later. Sorry to keep you holding. I hope it's only the foot missing. Ah, oh, monsieur. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Oui, oui. <laughs> hey, hey, Marty, thanks a lot for this soup. It's really good. You can have it. I think it stinks. Oh, it's delicious. Of the place you brought us to. <laughs> Madame, pleasure. Please night. come again. Thank you. Come in, come down, and you need to see. Come in, come down, and you need to see. Come in, come down, and you need to see. Come in, come down, and you need to see. Come and down my unity, we got to be run with Marty. Tell me the tingling right you know. Tell me the tingling right you know. Tell me the tingling right you know. Pick up we are gonna run like a healthy night. Come and down my unity, we got to be run with Marty. Tell me the tingling right you know. Tell me the tingling right you know. Tell me the tingling right you know. Pick up we are gonna run like a healthy night. Tell them run some gals and say. Tell them run some gals and say. Tell them brown town girl, me say no fit take pa mo make him suffer. Come we go down a unity, come we go down a unity, come we go down a unity. We got to go to the All they tell me, they tell me, Smarty say she no fit go a bread a penny. Miss Matty passed me order. She go a bread a bend ya, black by the biting pan in my finger, sink a beat singing. Black by the biting pan in my finger, sink a beat singing. Wait a minute. Who is the black chick? The new social director. You going to serve her? No, sir. She's going to starve to death then. I think pan in my finger, think a bit singing. Black by the biting pan in my finger, think a bit singing. All the tell me the tell Who's a blonde? Don't know. Look interesting. Go and check it. Do that. <laughs> Enjoying your dinner, man. Thank you. You are looking very lovely tonight. <laughs> Have you finished clearing up the mess you made outside yet? Yes, sir. What? Yes, sir. Relax, man. Oh, you look so frightened. The white people never going to eat you, you know. Now, I've been watching you. Listen good, because I don't talk more once. Now, the first thing. Fix up your clothes! No, you're going to work with me, I have to look better than this. You not only have to look better than this, but you have to smell better than this. You check it? Yes, sir. You ever hear of a thing called deodorant? No, sir. All right, give me a dollar. I don't have no money, sir. I'm going to buy it for you. You owe me a dollar. Now get me a plate. I'm going to show you something. Clit. Clit. 
Sit down. Sit down. Now, imagine that you are the guest and I'm the waiter. And the first thing is when you put it in the plate, right? Now, you see where my hand is? Don't do it like that. If you do it like that, you see what happened? You don't see what happened. Nose gone on the arm. Be ho, that is what I'm talking about. Now you try that. Get up! All right, straight up ahead. Let me see your face. Smile, man. Smile. Smile, master. Jesus Christ, you can't be a wait if you can't smile, no man. Smile, no. What am to your nose? It's leaking, sir. Jesus Christ. Tell me something. What do you used to do before you come to the hotel? I used to be stopping sugar cane in the country, sir. What? Stopping? Master, you're going to be in plenty of trouble if people can't hear what you're saying, you know. Straight up yourself! really going to do with you? Report you to the manager? Tell him that you are no use? No, sir. No, I wouldn't do that. Because I like you. You're a nice boy. <laughs> You have the sisters? Five. <coughs> and six brothers, sir. Any of them bigger than you? No, sir. Me the biggest one, sir. <coughs> your mother and your father work? I don't have a father, you know, sir. So your mother expecting you to look after the children? Yes, sir. So depending on me, one. Now, if you use your head and you're smart, you can make plenty of money in your hotel, you know. But you have to follow what me say. Now, me is what I'm called a man. A sea man. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, sir. You're a sip, sir. No! I said sea. Sea! I mean sea as in rooster. You know what I mean now? Yes, sir. Cool. <laughs> now, most of the girls that come to the hotel, they don't cook sunshine on the beach, as I say, you know. You know what they come for? No, sir. You know what girls like most of all? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you have to give it to them. Tell me something. You well blessed? Sometimes, sir. You have to get yourself together. And most important, you have to charge them. Not directly, but you have to make them pay. Tell them a hard luck story. Tell them your mother dead. Or your child is sick and is in the hospital. You have to work them over. They'll pay. But don't me go and do that, sir. Simple man, simple man. Sit down again, let me show you. Now, imagine that you are the guest, and I am the waiter. I should be a teacher boy. Now, you have to use your brain. Before you check the chick, make sure that she's alone. Right? Good. Now, imagine that you are the guest, and I am the waiter, and you're having your soup. 
where the soup is, sir. Imagine, man. Imagine the soup, like so. Good, that's better. So, I come in. Enjoy the soup, madam. Eh? Yes, master. Look, if you're a black man and you can't play a part, you're gonna starve to death. The first thing you have to learn to do is play a part, right? Now watch me do that. Enjoy the soup, madam. Yes, yeah, thank you. You're looking lovely tonight, madam. Uh, would you care to see some Jamaican night spots? You hear what I said? No. What is the sir? Forget it. But me never hear what you said, sir. Your hawks. You should like to see some Jamaican night spots because she's lonely. If she say yes, you agree to meet her outside the gate. Then it's down to the beach. I'm gonna lick out, sir. Right. Now, I am the guest. I'm gonna be a lady. And I want you to try and date me, right? Smile. Now try and do it. Dinner. Remember the armpit. Now try it again. Yes, thank you, sir. Enjoy the dinner, ma'am. Oh, it is very nice. <laughs> you want more food, not a plate, huh? What? Listen, I'm losing my patience and my temper, you know. Last chance, yes, sir. And remember the armpit. Now try it again. Dinner. Thank you very much, sir. Can I take it out? You're scared. Mistake. You can't touch a woman. Suppose she don't like you. It's what you want to do. Get the two of us in trouble. You know what happened? Me finish. You're a failure. But, sir, begin another chance, no, sir. I'm nervous, no, sir. No, man. Take two weeks and watch me. Please, sir, one more chance, sir. Remember me, mother, sir. All right. But one more skid and it's out. Sit down. Sir. Here is your dinner, ma'am. That is better, boy. That is much better, boss. Enjoy the dinner, ma'am. Oh, it is very nice, sir. Very nice. You're looking handsome tonight, ma'am. Can I take you out to see some Jamaica night pot? Boss boy, boss. <laughs> boy, I said to find you, I got to follow a trail of dollar bills. Now, 
Who would you think to finish up now? You hear right talk around the back? Yes, sir. You know Jamaican? Yes, sir. Well, around the front is a different thing, you know? You have to check by them accents, right? Now we have English, Americans, and Canadians. Forget about English. They're too stingy. The Americans and the Canadians almost talk the same. So I want you to concentrate on the American and that will do for the Canadians, right? Yes, sir. No more that yet, sir. When the Americans are sat there, they say, Saturday, man. Saturday. Now let me hear you say that. Saturday. Saturday. Hmm? Saturday. Yeah. 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 You cotton picking son of a gun. You cotton picking son of a gun. Suck it to me, sweet man. Talk it to me, tweet man. Forget about the twang. Play it natural. Yes. <laughs> All right. By tomorrow, I'll find a chick for you. And the blonde by the piano is mine. <laughs> and remember to smile. Hey, you. Where's your boss? I don't know, sir. Find him. Tell him that the woman that was sitting there, the blonde, is the assistant manager's wife. Paging Mrs. Danvers Brown. Your husband is waiting in the lobby. Find him. Fast. Me, huh? Too damn thief. You're a big man. You mustn't tell lies. You're too thief. We'll check you tomorrow about that job you're getting us. Remember. Remember. <laughs> Listen, man. I know it's not easy. What with my wife being foreign and that. 
Maybe you don't understand what she means, but you're going to have to put more effort into it. This job should have been finished from yesterday. Mrs. Danvers Brown is not satisfied. I try my hardest to satisfy her, sir. Well, it's not hard enough. Look, man, I know if I was here. Listen, you're just trying to take damn advantage of my wife. No, sir. But I'll try harder today to satisfy her, sir. And every day from now on, unless you lose the job. All right, sir. All right. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Mugger Beach Hotel. Yes, I do. Beach right here. It's never for any good. Does anybody want to volunteer to be a jockey for the club? Dollar number six. Dollar six. You have seven volunteers. Okay, let me have this guy. I want to talk with the winner. This is the winner. I want the winner. Take it easy, people. Not a thing wrong with us. Go, come back here. You want him dance? Don't forget, he's a one-foot man. Forget, me forget. Me dear, him say me is the best thing that ever happened to him. You lie. What about the bed business? If push come to shove, you just shut me eye and do it. Don't forget the man have money, and I want to go to America. Me dear, I just hope you know what you're doing. And I'll give you my pearl away for nothing, because it's all I have. And it have you work for me. Flowers too, my dear. Chapter! Ringo Smith, Ringo Smith. Report to the manager's office immediately. Ringo! 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 Ringo, what up, man? Lend me ten dollars. I broke. Look what I get last night. M my missus and our brothers. And I have to give her ten dollars today. You're really in a trouble. I promised to get our brothers some job, you know, and they soon come. Oh, you so careless, man. What? The woman you went out with last night. You know who she is? <laughs> Heavy stuff, master. Blonde here? Boss. <laughs> the assistant man, your wife. Not all right, man. Tell him, son, huh? This joke you're making. Look in my face if you see any joke. You lie. Or I'm fine out so fast. Ringo Smith, report to the manager's you office. You better move. Hey, go and look after the breakfast, man. Hell. Oh, Jesus, what a hotel. Hi, Miss B. Saw you last night. Good move. Look, I know you're new here. And maybe you didn't know it's against the regulations to go out with the guests. People get far fit already. But I'm cool. You can depend on me. Look now. You didn't see me by the club last night. You? The club? That is cool. Confidentially now. The manager, what he wants to see me for. I don't know. If you find out, give me a call. All right. Miss Brandon, I thought I asked you to get Ringo Smith over an hour ago for me. Joke. What happened? You see the man yet? I have more serious problems than that. The brothers come for the jobs. Any of them can swim? No. Swim? Why? The lifeguard walk out for the job. The pool attendant don't come back. If they could swim. But Joe, the dove can swim. True. <laughs> the tourists them can swim. Is one Jamaican man afraid for water? You can swim? No. What about you? He's like a fish. 
You lie. Yeah, sir. When I swim fish club, you can't swim ring. Watch it. Ringo Smith, report to the manager's office immediately. Look, if it's not anything too serious, I might be able to borrow ten dollars from the manager and get the bras and the jobs. Ask me more. Ringo. Smith, sir. First thing, Smith, close the door. We only arrived back yesterday. Where were you? Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but I was sick, sir. Food poisoning, sir. Doctor's certificate? What, sir? Oh, um, um, will you see, sir? The last time I had this complaint, sir. The doctor put me on two weeks sick leave, sir. But seeing that the season was just about to start, sir, and I didn't want to miss it, sir, and I didn't really want to let you down, you know, sir. I mean, it's still tremendous, sir, but nevertheless, I try and come on, sir. I'm so sorry. I was a little bit late, sir. Cut the sir. What, sir? I had a report about you this morning. What I did, sir? Anybody doing that sort of thing is out. What I do, sir? What happened in the dining room last night? What, sir? Why you didn't serve Miss Thomas? Oh, Miss Thomas, who is she, sir? The social director. She said she was deliberately ignored for over an hour. Deliberately, sir? I mean, why would I do that, sir? I don't even know her, sir. What she look like, sir? Come on, man. One black face in the dining room, you can't miss her. But, sir, I did serve a lady, you know, sir. After one hour? I mean, I, I was busy trying to serve the tourists, sir. Don't give me that, Smith. The hotel is only a quarter full. Mm. So, it's, it's my fault to come out when I know I wasn't feeling too well now. I mean, I, I try my best to look after the guests, you know. I mean, I'm really trying my... Look, I know what goes on in this hotel. So don't try and bullshit me. I know you waiters. You don't like to serve black people. I'm a black man, you know, sir. And there's no one to me like my black brothers and sisters, sir. I am very conscious, sir. Very conscious, sir. I mean, but at the same time, I do in the French, sir. I like white people, too, you know, sir. White man, black man, cool man, China man. I mean, we're all God's children, and we all have to live as one. But every time I want black man, let me down, you know, sir. I mean, what we say is true, you know, sir. I know most of the waiters, sir. They don't like to serve black people, sir. Why is this, Smith? What? Oh, wait, it's see, sir. Have a seat. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. Well, sir, most of the black people that come to the hotel, you know, sir, treat waiters like dirt, you know, call your boy and all that. I mean, sir, as a manager, I feel proud of you, you know, sir, because I see one of us, sir. I mean, but, sir, I mean, you've got to get to realize these facts, you know. A black man will come to the hotel, sir. You give the man excellent service, you know, sir. And when the man done, I mean, if I'm doing a poor and call your boy, I'm give you 10 cents. What, sir? Lighter, Smith. Oh. Light, I'm so sorry. Yes, sir, as I was saying, sir, if they don't report you and call your boy, they give you 10 cents. I mean, sir, what 10 cents can do, sir? For, I mean, it's bad enough when a white man call your boy and give you a dollar, you know, sir. But when you own black Smith. man, Smith. Telephone, sir. Nobody knows I'm here. Hello, operator? Yes, ask him to come and see me. Okay, Smith, I'll forget about it this time. 
Just make sure it doesn't happen again. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Um, sir, I wonder if I could ask you a little favor, sir. Not now, Smith. There's somebody coming to see me. Um, it won't take a second, you know, sir. What is it, Smith? Well, I heard that there's going to be a vacancy at the pool for a lifeguard. I know somebody with plenty of experience in that line, you know, sir. <laughs> Ask him to come and see me. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Now what is it, Smith? I, I know somebody else <laughs> that, that could work as a pool attendant, too, sir. Ask him to come and see me, too. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Sir, I wonder if I could borrow ten dollars from you, sir. I don't lend money, Smith. Sorry, see, I'd like to fill this prescription because you know I for the food poison. You know, I really don't want to miss the hotel work another time. Okay. Let me have it back, Smith. I'm back. Oh yes, have it back. Good. Yes. Thank you very much. have a fish, you can have the steak. There's a choice. Mm, look, Mac, we're on a package tour, right? Everything inclusive, right? So bring everything, right? You mean... That's right, fella, bring it out. Everything. You gotta stand up for your rights. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And she's ready for the steak. Yes, sir. You know what to do? No, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. Y yes. Relax, man. Enjoy the soup, ma'am. Yes, very much. Is it a native recipe? Me no, no ma'am. You're looking... You're looking... You're looking handsome tonight, ma'am. Well, thank you. You're very charming. Yes, ma'am. But you're looking lonely tonight, ma'am. Well, would you care to join me? Yes, ma'am. It's not allowed, ma'am. But I can meet you after, ma'am. By the car park, ma'am. And we can go down to the club, ma'am. Well, I'd like that.
kiss my neck. This is how I always dreamed it would be. Uh. But honey, why did you have to eat so much? Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh, I've got a little something for you. Thank you. Have you uh, given any thought to going back to the States with me? Not really. I've got something else for you to try on. Boy, it's really beautiful out here. And you're very cute. And sexy, too. Feeling any better? Oh, God. I feel terrible. Try that ping pong thing again in a little different way. Make it easy. Just relax. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's it. Take it easy. Just relax. What, Miss Gladys? Uh. Don't stop. Don't stop. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. Miss Push a little lower. Oh, 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 God. Uh, oh, good. Don't stop. What, Mom? Uh, uh, that's right. Relax. They're just not playing the part, right, Jim? Anyway, I get the job to them, and that is that. Them have all recommendations to show that we cross that barrier, you know. Things happening fast. What happened? It looked like a diamond. To rot it. Meeting later to make the final arrangements. You lie. I resign in today. Listen, I'll call you later. It's a deal. Piece of 
in this gutter. I count twelve. What was the you talking about? Oh, you get down with the chick last night. Not bad, sir. You get money? Not yet, sir. This thing don't go on credit, you know. It's cash and delivery. Now, tonight, you're going to ask her to go to the crab race. And she must bet on the red crab and the orange crab. You're not betting? <laughs> well, I must win at least three or four hundred dollars tonight. <laughs> Bet this. What if them catch you? Catch Ringo. <laughs> the red crab and the orange crab. Twenty-five big smackers on blue and green. Right there. <laughs> Thank you. Hot. Okay, now, let's start the race. I'd like to get a volunteer, if I can, to be a starter. I have a volunteer. Come on up this way, sir. Come around. Come around here. All right. Look, tell us about yourself. Where yeah. are you from? Detroit. Detroit! Yeah. How about yeah, that? Give Detroit him a hand. Ohio, Come on. <laughs> Is there anybody else here from Detroit? Well, that pretty lady sitting right over there is oh. Mrs. Riley. She, we just got married. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. How's the honeymoon going? Well, this place is a lot nicer than Detroit. <laughs> wonderful. Now, I want you to... We are going to start the race right away. Okay. Chief. I just want you to be the starter, right? Okay. And you pick the thing up off the crabs, mm. and then we're off. What kind of crabs are they? Oh, they're soldier crabs. Oh, yeah, I was in the service myself. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> All right. Oh. Now, let's start. Lift on the top, and we're off. And we're off. And we're off. And it's the orange one, I think. Come on, Greedy. You're going to do it, baby. You're going to do it. Come on. Come on. You get this one, baby. I'm going to give you my kiss on the back of your shell. Wonderful. Okay. Could you go and seal your bets with Bunga Man over there? Isn't that wonderful, sir? No, Next she time. Told me blue. I won. <laughs> Here I won. Give it to Thank you, Betty. It's okay. I gave you sweet drink. I want to hang out on orange, right? And orange again. You know what? The winner. Huh? Blue and green going to be the winner. Fun time. Time for the final race. But there is a catch. For this race, the last crab over the line is the winner. Remember, this is the loser's race. Well, they say if they can't beat them, join them. 125 in the orange. <laughs> What be it's my first dollar. Three. It's three dollars. Oh. Oh. Come on, 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 Thank you.
please. Cash. This is a loser's race. The last one wins. God damn it. I just put, I just put all my money on this race, you know. I'm sorry, sir. Honest to God, man, everything crashed. I'm really sorry. But I just can't understand now. I mean, your $10 gone, my $10 gone. Somebody double-crossing us, man. I mean, we can't be so bad luck, man. We can't. You want to say money? Money like dirt. Fifty. I have hundreds there. No, just... Ten more, if that a talk. Talk about what? You know. Cool. Where is my wife? 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 Where
What are you doing? I'm trying to get the manager, sir. What for? A man joining by the pool, sir. Miss Beard! Miss Beard! Oh, my God, what happened here? Susie, what happened here? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What What's wrong? No lifeguards here at all. Not a single lifeguard. I rescued that I think one Chuck fell there. in. The waiter tried to save him. I think he's alive, but this one I think is dead. What you expect of this I think this one's dead. No, what you expect of this kind of hotel? No, they're doing anything. Miss Lucky, out. See what's the out and knock. Come in. See what's the by the pool in water. Right, what is it? I'm on drone, sir. I see one man dr drowned. Drowned? Why was I told about it? that lose all in money in the crab rates last night. This thing is going to have serious repercussions. If it wasn't for you, what happened wouldn't happen. You should never have got those boys the job. It's you suggested to me. Look, do it involve me one Ross, unit. So don't try and back out now. I have my children. You going to cure them when I lose the job? Eh? Take it back. I don't want it. That is why black people never get nowhere. We don't stick together. We'll try and make a little get out, but as something go wrong, we start to eat up each other. If I ever see where I going to lose this job, you see? <laughs> All of us lose it if we never stop. No, you know. As I see. It's only the three of us know the full facts of what happened. Mm. If any of us talk, all of us may lose out. No. Everybody see when I jump in. I sleep you sleep, man. No matter that. I jump in. I risk my life to save the tourists. You never hear the people them congratulating me. Oh, my brave. It's only you two know that I can't swim in them. So all I have to do is spread it around the hotel that Ringo risks his life to save the tourists by this evening. Radio, tomorrow morning, newspaper, Ringo is hero. Then after that is promotion in Sweet Boy. When I get promotion, I promote you too, you know. You, you don't want to become a waiter. Uh, yes, sir. It don't like sense, Joe. <laughs> Wait. 
What about the assistant manager? Is him give the boys a job, you know? When you get right down to it, everybody is protecting his one thing, you know. If it's not money, it's power. <laughs> Young boy, when anybody asks you what happened, what you going to tell them? That you risk your life to save the people them, sir. <laughs> Seen. <laughs> Seen, young boy. Seen. Seen. <laughs> <laughs> Mocha Beach Hotel. Me a girl. I just see your man. Airport. Where you see him? Airport? I'll call you back. Chapter. <laughs> Hello, Kissing. Hello, Kissing. Is Ringo there? No, ma'am. Who is that? This is Cyril the boss boy. Come up to the front desk. I want you to do me a favor, quick. Yes, ma'am. Hello, is that here, Jamaica? Could you tell me if you have a Mr. Gerald O'Brien booked on the flight to New York this afternoon? I'll hold. Yes, ma'am? Look, do me a favor. Go to room 37. You actually saw what happened down by the pool? Yes, sir. What? Mr. Ringo risked him life to see the people them, sir. See, I must find him. Do me a favor. Go up to room 37 and see if you see any suitcases or anything. 37, ma'am. 37. Quickly. Hello? Smith, can I speak to you a second, please? Oh, just a minute, sir. I uh, heard what happened down by the pool. I'm very pleased, Smith. In fact, the whole staff is. It was a good job. I'm proud of you. Really proud. Listen, I uh, have a little something here for you. You deserve it, but you must spend it wisely. Oh, yes. Thank you, Raj. Oh. Forget what you owe me. Nothing not here, no, ma'am. No suitcase or anything. Thank you. Can I do anything else for you, ma'am? No, thank you. Hero Joe. <laughs> Come here, young boy. <coughs> Hero, smoke your cigar. What I do with orange, sir? So why you don't eat orange? <laughs> Them fed rock not your balls in what, sir? <laughs> and you believe it? Yes, sir. Who start them rumors? The people who grow the orange. Wicked. In the 
orange man. But I don't want an orange star from Joe. Let him come on. Eat orange man. Orange man. Orange star. Peel a red one from a star. Come on here. What's the matter, Miss Brandon? What's the matter? Eat orange, boy! <laughs> 